Hello my viewers, this is Mr. Banda, Mathematics Made Easy. In this lesson we have a question coming from uh, Additional Mathematics, IGCSE, Cambridge 0606. And the question reads, in this diagram uh, we have the cave y is equal to 6x minus x squared for 0 less than or equal to x and less than or equal to 5. And the line y is equal to x. Find the area of the shaded region. So the goal here is to find the area of this shaded region. Alright, the area of the shaded region can be obtained by integrating the upper function, in this case the curve, from the ordinates 0 to 5 then the value that we get is going to be the area under this curve above there. So meaning that will be the area from there up to down here. But to get the area that is just shaded, we are going to get the inter integral of this curve minus the integral of the line uh, from 0 up to 5. So in short, what we are saying is that the area will be equal to so the area will be equal to the integral from 0 to 5 of the curve 6x minus, minus x squared with respect to x minus, so this one will give us the total area from up here up to the y-axis here from 0 up to 5. Then from there we should take away the area of the area formed by the integral or the area formed by integrating the line uh, y is equal to x from 0 up to 5. From 0 up to 5, y is equal to x, so our function is x with respect to x. Now, one of the properties of integration is that since we have the same limits, we are integrating from 0 to 5, and here also integrating from 0 to 5, and we have a difference of these integrals. One of the properties of integration is that this will give us the integral from 0 to 5 of 6x minus x squared minus this x with respect to x. So we can just combine these functions by the difference that we have here. Okay, instead of us integrating them separately, we can just form one function like that and get the integral. So the area is going to be the integral from 0 to 5 of 6x minus x will give us 5x minus x squared with respect to x. Okay, and the area will is going to be equal to, so let us integrate this particular function. 5x will give us 5x to the power 2 divided by 2 minus x squared after integration will give us x cubed divided by 3. So the limits of integration are from 0 up to 5. Those are the ordinates of our integration. So the area is going to be equal to what do you get when you put 5 into this integral? Okay, when you put 5, you are going to have 5, 5 squared, where there's x, you are putting 5 divided by 2 minus 5 cubed divided by 3. We know that under normal circumstances of integration, this particular value must be subtracted by the value you get when you put 0 into this particular integral. But you can see that when you put 0 into this integral, the value that you get will just be a 0, because this will be a 0, and that one will be a 0. Hence, subtracting a 0 from this will just give us what we have here. No need to waste time on that. So the area is going to be equal to 5 times 5 squared is 25 over 2 minus 5 cubed is 125 over 3. And this will be equal to 
5 times 25, this will give us, uh, that's 5 by 2, so that will be 125 over 2 minus 125 over 3. Alright, let us simplify this one from here. Okay. So simplifying that one from there, let's see what we're going to get. So this will be 125 over 2 minus 125 over 3. You have 6 as your common denominator of 2 and 3. Then 2 into 6 is giving us 3. 3 times 125, that will give us uh, 3 times that is 15. Uh, that would be 5 by 1, 3 times 2, 6, that would be 7. So you have 7. So you have 375 minus 3 into 6 is 2. And 6, uh, 2 times 125, you get 250. 375 minus 250. 5 minus 0 will give us 5, 7 minus 5 will give us 2, 3 minus 2 will give us 1, so that will be 125 over 6 units squared. This is going to be our area. Uh, so that is our area under this scale, the shaded part here. So this is the area that we are going to get. I hope and believe that you enjoyed the lesson. Please. Forget not to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mathematics Made Easy with Mr. Banda. God bless you.